The first thing I remember is being under something. It was a table. I saw a table leg. I saw the legs of people and a portion of the tablecloth hanging down. It was dark under there. I liked being under there. It must have been in Germany. I must have been between one and two years old. It was 1922. I felt good under the table. Nobody seemed to know I was there. There was sunlight upon the rug and on the legs of the people. I liked the sunlight. The legs of the people were not interesting, not like the tablecloth which hung down, not like the table leg, not like the sunlight. Then there is nothing, then a Christmas tree, candles, bird ornaments, birds with small berry branches in their beaks, a star, two large people fighting, screaming, people eating, always people eating. I ate too. My spoon was bent so that if I wanted to eat, I had to pick up the spoon with my right hand. If I picked it up with my left hand, the spoon bent away from my mouth. I wanted to pick up the spoon with my left hand. Two people, one larger with curly hair, a big nose, a big mouth, much eyebrow. The larger person always seeming to be angry, often screaming. The smaller person quiet, round of face, paler, with large eyes. I was afraid of both of them. Sometimes there was a third, a fat one, who wore dresses with lace at the throat. She wore a large brooch and had many warts on her face with little hairs growing out of them. Emily, they called her. These people didn't seem happy together. Emily was the grandmother, my father's mother. My father's name was Henry. My mother's name was Catherine. I never spoke to them by name. I was Henry Jr. These people spoke German most of the time, and in the beginning, I did too. The first thing I remember my grandmother saying was, I will bury all of you. She said this the first time, just before we began eating a meal. And she used to say it many times after that, just before we began to eat. Everything seemed very important. We ate mashed potatoes and gravy, especially on Sundays. We also ate roast beef, knockwurst and sauerkraut, green bees, rhubarb, carrots, spinach, string beans, chicken, meatballs and spaghetti, sometimes mixed with raviola. There were boiled onions, asparagus, and every Sunday there was strawberry shortcake with vanilla ice cream. For breakfast we had French toast and sausages, or there were hot cakes or waffles with bacon and scrambled eggs on the side, and there was always coffee. But what I remember best of all were the mashed potatoes and gravy, and my grandmother Emily saying, I will bury all of you. She visited us often after we came to America, taking the red trolley in from Pasadena to Los Angeles. We only went to see her occasionally driving out in the Model T Ford. I liked my grandmother's house. It was a small house under an overhanging mass of pepper trees. Emily had all her canaries in different cages. I remember one visit best. That evening she went about covering the cages with white hoods so the birds could sleep. The people sat in chairs and talked. There was a piano and I sat at the piano and hit the keys and listened to the sound as the people talked. I liked the sound of the keys best up at one end of the piano where there was hardly any song at all. The sound the keys made was like chips of ice striking against one another. Will you stop that, my father said loudly. Let the boy play the piano, said my grandmother. My mother smiled. That boy, said my grandmother, when I tried to pick him up out of the cradle to kiss him, 
He reached up and hit me in the nose. They talked some more, and I went on playing the piano. Why don't you get that thing tuned, asked my father. <laughs>